Hello, and welcome to Carden IT Services Guide to using Microsoft SharePoint on your desktop. SharePoint is a database of your files in the cloud, which syncs with Microsoft 365. When you use Microsoft 365, you have a single login that gives you access to the entire suite of Microsoft Office applications, including SharePoint. If you want to access your SharePoint files from a desktop, you can go to File Explorer. On the left here, you'll see a link to your SharePoint folder, and within it, you'll see any files and folders you've stored in the cloud. Although these files are stored in the cloud and not locally on your machine, you can still edit them on your machine. Opening a file from SharePoint will open it in its associated Microsoft program. For example, let's open a Word document. You can edit and make changes as you would with any other Word file. Your changes will automatically sync with the file in the cloud. To save a file to SharePoint, press Ctrl S like you would with any other file, then select More Options, then Browse, then find the SharePoint folder in the sidebar, choose the location within SharePoint where you want to save the file, and click Save. You can also save a file to SharePoint by pressing Ctrl S, then navigating to More Locations, then selecting the SharePoint site and choosing the location you want to save the file to. Once a file is uploaded to SharePoint, multiple users can collaborate on the file in real time. You'll even see the other user's cursor moving on the screen as they make edits. To share a SharePoint file, locate the file you want to share, then right-click and hit Share. You can then type the name of the user you want to share the file with and click Send. They will receive an email with a link to the file. Alternatively, after clicking Share, you can copy a link to your file. Make sure you have set the permissions correctly so that the user you are sending the file to will be able to access it. Then, you can hit Copy and you'll have a URL. This URL can then be copied and you can paste the link anywhere you need to. A useful feature to keep track of the changes which different users in your organization may have made to a file is to use version history. In here, you can see all the changes that have been made in chronological order. You can open any of the previous versions of the file from here. As well as SharePoint, you also have access to a product called OneDrive. While SharePoint is a shared database of files accessible by your entire organization, OneDrive is for your own personal files, backing them up to the cloud. You can access this from the menu on the left-hand side of the screen. By default, OneDrive will back up files from your machine's Documents folder, its Pictures folder, and any files you've saved to the desktop. Just like your SharePoint files, changes you make to your files in OneDrive will be automatically synced between your machine and the cloud. Within File Explorer, you can easily see whether a file has been synced with the cloud by checking which icon appears next to it in the status column. If you see a green tick, that means the file is available on your device. If you see a blue cloud symbol, that means the file is stored in the cloud and you can only access it when connected to the internet. If you want to be able to access an online file when you're offline, right-click on it and select Always Keep on this device. Thank you for watching Carden IT Services Guide to SharePoint. If you're a Carden IT Services customer and would like help with SharePoint, you can contact us at helpdesk at cardenitgroup.com.